Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ashley. As you can see, this one here is very dark. He's a proper A-grade crab. Very hard, no body sections popping. And the sides on this crab are very hard as well. This one here is B-grade, I'd say. So he's pretty hard at the top and bottom. The middle section slightly soft. Under the flippers and the next set of legs. Over the top of the nippers into the notch. Pull your string tight, a couple of grannies. And that's one tied mud crab. Hard? Yep, very hard. Rock hard. Rock hard. About a centimeter over. Nice one. Okay, give us a look. Oh yes, I think you've got some beauties. That's heavy. Oh, look at the colour of them. Mm. Keeper. Hard. hard? Very hard. hard. Beautiful colour. Good crab. Good crab. All right, hang on a sec, mate. We'll just get this one out. He's got his flipper caught. All right, hold that for a sec. He's a keeper, easy. Good colour crab. I reckon he might be a keeper. Carter. And yes. he is. That's 11 crabs. A grade. A grade, nice beige colour. Very hard on the sides. Bottom sections, good crab. Oh, well, g'day guys, welcome back to another episode. Out in the bay this morning, early morning run, going to set eight pots for an overnight soak. It's just after the full moon. So, massive run in tonight at three and a half meters. Gonna tie a few crab pots off so they don't get washed away in some creek mouths and put four probably up on the flats out of the tidal run. Anyway, we'll get these pots in the water. In you go. Pot three, we missed pot two. Okay, pot four. Okay, pot five. Pot six. Pot seven. Quick check on our way home. This is our first pot. couple of little ones so we're back the following morning we've got eight pots that we put in yesterday morning 24 hour overnight soak we've got Carter with us this morning got Ashley and we've brought four more pots so we're going to set four more pots on our way to check our eight and let them fish for a couple of hours and pull our eight pots so 12 in total and see how we go righto Carter send it mate Right, oh, go. Beautiful. Okay, first check of our overnighters. Feeling like oh, oh. <laughs> Ashley. Look at that. I reckon we might have one keeper in there. Can I get a crab check out, Ashley? That's a good sign. No, they're too small. Oh, no. Ah. That's 
too small. No, he's a keeper, he touches. Okay, we'll just chuck him in the esky for now. I don't think that's a Jenny. I don't know if that'll be a keeper, I don't think so. No, too small. The rest are too small. Is that one under there? Is he too small? Yeah, he touches. That's a keeper. Two keepers. Yep. Hey, drop that one in. That's pot 11. Nice. Righto mate, pot 12, go for it. The moment of truth. You feeling lucky Carter? Mm, yeah. Yeah? One. Oh. oh, there's a couple. They're all Jennies, actually. Lucky Ashley. Look at that pot. We're in like 300 mil of water. I can see it there. Oh, I can see a few crabs. Might be one keeper. Chuck it up the front and I'll move out into some deeper water. Might be one, that top one there. That one. Let me get that one. Yeah, he's very hard, really hard. Let's hope he's a keeper. And he is. Nice, nice, that's a nice crab. We'll just put him there for a minute and then we'll tie some up. Oh. Yeah, all right, what about none of the others, I don't think? No. While you empty them out and get rid of them, I might tie these up. Okay, we'll tie a couple of these crabs up. These have been on ice for a little bit, so they're reasonably quiet. They're still alive. But you can see this one here is very dark. He's a proper A-grade crab. Very hard, no body sections popping. And the sides on this crab are very hard as well. This one here is a B-grade, I'd say. So he's pretty hard at the top and bottom. The middle section's slightly soft, but we'll take him. Uh, if we catch some others, we might let him go. But we'll tie these up. All right, we'll tie this crab up, like I've shown you before. Push him hard against a flat surface like the esky. Foot on top. Under the flippers and the next set of legs. Over the top of the nippers into the notch. Pull your string tight, a couple of grannies. And that's one tied mud crab. Look at that. Okay, crab number two. Been on ice for a little bit. Nice and quiet. Here we'll tie them as we go. This is a nice crab, very feisty. They're not huge crabs, but he is rock hard. Very good, very hard on the side. Full crab. Let's get him tied up. Alright, 
three crabs in the esky. We've pulled two pots. There's the pot. Anything in it? One. Oh, Jenny's again. Jenny's. Oh, that rope was going the other way. Oh, there's a big rusty buck there. Maybe two, kiddo. Is that a Jenny? No, that's a buck. Let me check that one while we're at it. He's a nice colour. I don't think he's going to be big enough though. No, he's under. Yeah. This one's a keeper. Easy. Big nippers. Hard? Yep, very hard. Rock hard. Rock hard. About a centimeter over. Nice one. That's four keepers out of four pots. Very hard crab. Feel the weight of him. He can't bite you. Nice and heavy, eh? Got it. A lot of mud. Okay, give us a look. Oh yes, I think you've got some beauties. Wash this mud off. There might be a couple in there, Carter. Maybe two. First. Oh, look at the colour of that. Hard. He's hard and he's feisty. Where's that crab check, mate? Um. Oh, it's in here. Get rid of you. Stop biting him. Yes, he's a keeper. He nice crab. Is he any good? Is he full? You gotta push on these sections. Oh yeah, he is. Sit him on the esky for me. Just straight on the esky. Nice one. What's that other crab like? This is crab six. Very clean, but very hard. Rock hard. Good weight. Oh. in there. Yeah. Yep, there sure is. I can see at least one keeper. that mud off. Two you reckon? That one there? Oh, that's heavy. Oh, look at the colour of them. Let's check these ones out. Yep. Keeper? Keeper, look at that. That's one already. 
he's not bad at all. I'll tie him up. I think there might be one more in the pot, is there? Yeah. They all too small? Yep. He's been destroyed. That's the big one I was looking at. He's soft anyway. Yeah. Maybe one or two. All right, watch out, mate. Oh. There's some nice looking crabs in there. I reckon they're too small. Can you just hold that, Carter? What's he like? Keeper. Hard? hard? Very hard. Like. Beautiful colour. Good crab. Good crab. Just a keeper, but he's a good crab. That's eight. What else have we got? This fella here. Good colour, nice and hard. Doesn't feel like he's big enough. No, he's under. He's under. They can go back. There's another keeper in there, easy. That one. Maybe two, yeah. yeah. Right, oh, hang on a sec, mate. We'll just get this one out. He's got his flipper caught. Alright, hold that for a sec. Here's a keeper, easy. Yeah. Good colour crab, nice and hard. Yeah, so Let's measure one. him. Easy, that's nine. That's nine. Is he any good, Ashley? You measure him? Maybe. Yep, spike to spike. Sweet. Touches. That's ten. Okay, this pot's been in for only about two hours. Lucky Ashley. Two hour pot set. Oh, there's one in there. I reckon he's a keeper. Maybe. Let's see how big he is. Whoa. He doesn't want me to grab him. He might be a bit small, actually. Good colour. Yeah, yeah, he's under. I reckon he might be a keeper. Carter. Yes. And he is. That's 11 crabs. A grade. A grade, nice beige color. Very hard on the sides, bottom sections, good crab. That's 11. Yeah, he's got a bit of weight for his size, he's not massive. See he's regrown a nipper, it's only tiny. Yeah. Man, that bin's looking full. All right, you ready, Carter? Oh, there's a massive one in there, dude. There's two. There's 
too. They're proper big ones, both of them. Bring it in the boat. I'm just gonna go over to deeper water so we don't run aground. Tip one in the bin, mate. Nice work. Just tip one out if you can, so they don't fight each other. Right, eh, let's hope he's an A. Proper. <laughs> Give us a look. Ink we might have two. Or oh, might only be big eight. Oh, he's a floater actually, there's nothing in him. Nothing. So just hold that. He's really soft here, see that popping in? Yeah. And if you look on the side here, it's hard to see, but that's really soft oh, yeah. as well. So, unfortunately, he's going back. Maybe here. Maybe. So their flippers get caught. I think he might possibly be a floater too. They're just not worth keeping. There's no meat in them. Good size though. Yeah. Yes, yes. Good. That one is good, he nearly got me then. See how rock hard that yeah. is? I can't make it flex. And I can't make that flex either. Yep. A grade crab, go. good one. bit of weight. That's 12 crabs. Nice crab. All right, our pot, 10 out of 12 pots. We've got how many crabs, Carter? 12 in the bin. Let's hope we can bag out and even run some upgrades. Yeah. That's what we want. Yeah. Oh, all too small, I think. Yeah. They look too small, don't they? Yeah. Bummer. All right, big smile because this will be a screenshot. Winter mud crabs. Nice. Well, we've done it. 12 crabs for an overnight soak. We put eight pots in yesterday morning, picked them up this morning. We brought four more pots and we ended up with 12 crabs. So they're not big crabs because this fishery does get fished a lot, but there's some serious A grade crabs in here. None of them are massive. They're all legal but uh, they're all A-grade crabs, which is a really good result. So if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, smash that like button as well, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.